see if it works. Yeah, let go. Woo! Oh, it's working! Yes! Yes! It's fingerboard week. Today I'm gonna to be attempting what may be one of my more ambitious videos, and it might not even end up working, who knows? I don't know, I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Today I wanna to try and make a hover fingerboard. Like the hoverboards from Back to the Future, but fingerboards. Before we even attempt to do this, I have a horrible confession, and that is, I've never actually seen Back to the Future. I have a pretty strong idea that I know the rough storyline. It's about a guy named Marty McFly and a scientist named Doc Brown, and they have to travel back in time in their DeLorean to kill Sarah Connor before she snaps her fingers and wipes away half of humanity, causing the uprising of the apes. And then there's also something about a flux capacitor in there. So before we do anything, I have to go watch the movie that I'm basing this idea off of. Well, the plot was definitely different to what I thought it was. <laughs> Very epic movie, though. I have a couple different ideas of how I want to try this. The first idea is more of like an indoor skydiving vibe. If you have no idea what indoor skydiving is, here's an idea. There's a giant fan that blows air through a grating, and you just fly with the air blasting you up. We gotta go to the store and buy some fans. Uh-huh. What section do they put fans in? Fans are put in the home decor section. Oh, is that French? I think it is. Home uh, decor? We. We when? No. <laughs> they pretty much didn't have any fans that I needed, so we're gonna go to another shop. Have you oh, seen no. the guy that says you got no fans? I ain't seen that, uh, no. You've got no fans! You, you got no fans! <laughs> Made it to the next door. Hopefully they have fans. Bounce. Wow, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nope, they're not in there. Ah, uh, I can wreck three. Uh, <laughs> three? Make them wreck three. <laughs> they didn't make them in bolts. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't make them in bolts. Where are you? they? Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Other one? Perfect. Yes. Bunnings Warehouse! <laughs> We're in Bunnings right now. <laughs> Do you know where I might be able to find chicken wire? Um, in the garden center. Chicken wire? Ow! Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> what is oh. what is the way you grabbed it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I love my fans. You might be thinking, David, why didn't you put the cages on the fans? It's because I like to live on the edge and I'm extreme. Now I'm gonna make chicken wire floor, which I will lay on top like this. I know it's not technically a hoverboard. It's like one of those hovercraft things that use fans, but instead of the craft being hovering, it's like a hover floor. Not really, but it's it's similar kind of. I couldn't find any bricks or anything to keep the fans in place. I found firewood and it's holding them, but we'll see if it works with the fans actually on. One, two, three. Yes! I got rid of one of the fans because it wouldn't be able to fit under the frame, but I've managed to rig this up in the most ghetto way ever. On this side, we have a red bucket, and on this side, we have the box that one of the fans came in. But you know, it's holding up the thing, and it seems like it's working. So, the next thing we gotta do, we gotta make the deck that'll go with this, which I feel like will have to be different than a normal fingerboard. It's gonna have to be as light as it can. So that's why I went to the shop and got this balsa wood. Balsa wood do be very light. The second concept is what you probably thought of when you saw the title of this video, and that's magnets. Thinking of making some kind of levitation pad, and then the deck has magnets in it so it levitates. I was just looking online, and I came across this, which is a Back to the Future hoverboard, which levitates with magnets. I think I've completely misjudged what I thought this was. I was under the impression that this was gonna be a magnetic base and the hoverboard was gonna be able to hover on top of the base. But the reality is there's magnets underneath the board and there's magnets in the little finger shoes. I mean, it's still kind of cool, like... Oh, bruh, the magnet just fell out. Yes. De Bezos has arrived. I went on Amazon and I searched strong magnets and I bought a bunch of them. That's what should be in this box. 
Yes, I can feel the magnetic power from outside the box. Oh, they're strong. I can't even get them apart from each other. All right, there we go. Oh, yes. I am Magnet Man. How's the repulsiveness? Oh yeah. Like, I'm straight up trampolining my hand on it right now. The idea is pretty much just making a kind of sandwich with the magnets in between these two bits of wood. I know I always joke about this channel being a science channel, but like... We're actually doing some science stuff today. Science! I bought this pink paint because the hoverboard in Back to the Future is bright pink. It's also this kind of metallic -y color. Future. Metallic. The Bezos Magnet Levitation Kit. It has this piece of wood flying. Also, for anyone that's been watching me for a while and has been wondering about this, on the back of my room's door, which you've probably seen in some shots, is this Magnets poster, which I made when I was in primary school and it's been on this door forever. I woke up this morning and saw it and I was like, wait a minute, that's like perfect for what I'm doing. It's like perfect for what I'm doing. So today's science lesson is brought to you by seven-year-old me. Magnets have different sides, such as north and south. They look the same, but they push against each other. Magnets are big and small sizes. Magnets are used for trains, really fast trains. If you put south and north together, they will quickly come join. There are lots of magnets like bar magnets and pole magnets too. Thank you everyone for coming to my TED talk. This is made to have this block float on the inside, but I'm gonna switch out the block with this fingerboard so then it can float on the inside of the tracks like that. So touch down, baby. Touch me. Now I just need to add the magnets to the board and then test it out and we will technically have ourselves a hoverboard. Come on, baby, it's hover time. Oh! Yes, it's alive! You've got the touch So much Yes, I know I added some traction to the top of the hoverboard because it was extremely slippery. There you are. See if it'll work without these plastic barriers keeping it from going side to side. This is ridiculously hard. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes. Oh. I made two different boards to try off the span. There's the one that you saw me make. Then there's one that's slightly bigger to see if, if it's bigger, the air will push it more. Because you know, science. Let's try the span thing out. <laughs> Sick. Wonder if I can jump from one fan to the other. Yes. <laughs> Let's get together. Let's get together. Oh, yes. Let's get together. Oh. Let's get together. It might not have 
seemed like it, that was actually a lot harder than it looked. Like those few tricks I got, that took a while. It worked though, so that's a success. But now, the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least the moment I've been waiting for, will my levitation pad work? I've also changed the magnets on the board to these round ones, just cause they're stronger, and it also looks better. Cause the actual levitators on the Back to the Future hoverboard are round. All right, let's see if it works. Oh, oh, I can feel the bounciness. We're gonna let go. Oh, it's working! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yes, it's working! It's how I hoped it would go, but here's the reality. Dude, it's like magnetized down to the board. I can kind of feel where they're pushing. It feels like in between the magnets, it just gets sucked down. Can I find a hot spot? That might work. Yes. Yes. Oh, dang it. Alright, All right, so this is a bit of a fail. <laughs> Disappointed! Disappointed! But you know, it's a, it's a science experiment. I guess this shows that not all of my videos go to plan. I'm only human, and I make human stuff. I was honestly, I was expecting it to work better than that. Maybe if I had different kinds of magnets? I don't know. If anyone out there is an engineer or has a good idea of how this could work, let me know, because I really want to try and make one that works good. And that's the end of the Hover Fingerboard video, and it's also the conclusion of Fingerboard Week Part 7. It's been a fun week. Thank you guys so much for watching all the videos and the support. It really does mean a lot to me. Just because it's the end of Fingerboard Week doesn't mean it's the end of Fingerboard video. Videos, so make sure to subscribe because I'm still uploading videos. Also go check out Pork Fingerboards. This is the last time these boards are ever going to be on sale. And once they sell out, they're gone forever. So if you want one, go pick one up. And I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. See it. <laughs> How was that one? I mean, it was alright. You probably could have done that last part with a little more passion. More passion? Alright. And I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. More passion. Raise those passion levels, mate. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mate, you gotta feel the passion from your koalas, mate. I want you to imagine you're riding the back of a kangaroo while a crocodile's chasing you through the streets of the Gold Coast. All right, go. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Or maybe a little less passion. All right, see you guys in the next video. Nice, perfect. Very good, how's the sound? I mean, it sounded good to me, man. I don't know if the microphone is on though. That's a wrap, everyone. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice job. That's a wrap. Nice job. Perfect. Nice job. <laughs>